Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a Fedora based operating system out of my own backyard. Comes from Seattle, Washington. Got a bunch of tools that they put into it that allow you to make it your own from startup. Uh, it is called Rizzy OS. So here we are. Now, I didn't do any of the setup because I'm doing the walkthrough live with you guys right now. Uh, all I did was download the ISO, put it in my vert manager. I signed it four gigs of RAM and I believe six of my cores. Booted into it. That's it. That's as far as we go. So everything we're about to experience, we're going to experience together. It says here, welcome to Rizzy OS. Setup will guide you through making an account and enabling some features. We'll have you up and running in no time. So we're going to start the setup location services. We're going to, this is for, you know, kind of like your telemetry stuff. Uh, once again, nothing wrong with telemetry, as long as it's something that you could opt in or out of. And I'm gonna leave it on for the purposes of this video, but normally I would turn it off for myself and my computer, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it as is. We're going to click next third party repositories. We are going to enable third party repositories. So that's going to be like your RPM fusion, all that kind of stuff to allow you to download third party codecs because Fedora is FOSS and much like Debian. So you have to enable third party repositories, third party repositories in order to be able to download codecs and other things that are not, that are non-proprietary. Some of your drivers are non-proprietary. So you have to use that. We're going to click next. Now we're going to set up online accounts, which I'm going to skip because I'm not putting any of those in. My full name is going to be simply put as Alex. The username will be Alex. We're going to click next. If you have enterprise login, then you can do this here. If you already have apparently a Fedora or an enterprise login set up, I'm not sure with Fedora or them or both. So we're going to set a password. It's going to be really complicated. And we're all done. Now we're going to start using Rizzy. So let's see what it looks like when we first log in. Okay, so this is the Rizzy welcome. So for first steps, welcome to Rizzy 37 the beautiful. Thank you for choosing Rizzy. Uh, this welcome screen will help guide you through the available resources for Rizzy OS, as well as help you set up your computer to your liking. Nice. So let's go to the first step tab. Set up RPM Fusion. See, RPM Fusion repository. We're going to launch that. I'm going to click next. Enable the tainted codex. It's funny they call that that. We're going to put in our password. And now it's performing that. Oh, and it's got, it's based off of Fedora 37, so it's up to date. And so I'm going to go ahead and pause while it is doing that, uh, just uh, to save time. Okay, well, that finished, and it... Closed automatically on its own. It said, rips, uh, sorry, it said the Rizzy script ran successfully and it did. So now if you want to add some themes, we hit launch. And let's see, it's going to install apps with GNOME software. Um, sure, we'll hit launch. See what that does. Oh, okay, here we go. So these are updates. I'm not going to do any of this just yet. Okay, so that launches the web store, the GNOME store. Install web apps. So they use web apps to bridge the gap that Linux has with app compatibility. So we're going to do that. I'm going to hit launch for that. Oh, it launches the web apps actual application. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, cust customize Rizzy with Rizzy tweaks. Let's do that. Oh, here's where the theming's at. Look at this. Enable animations. Theming is going to be Rizzy or Nord, apparently. Uh, accent colors. Um, legacy. We're going to do the Adwita. Let's do the dark. Adwita. Yeah. Adwita. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Was well, it going to apply the dark? It didn't apply the dark at all. That's strange.
Now it applied to dark. That was weird. How come the Adwita GT3 didn't work in dark? That's strange. We go to Adwita dark. I prefer dark. I, we, I think we all know that. So there's that. For layout, there's workspaces, the bar, clocks. This is more like GNOME, tw GNOME tweaks that's done here for Windows. Yep. Okay, now for extensions, you have all these extensions that are already installed. Rizzy GNOME. Okay. Um, background logo. Yep. Rizzy script. Brave. Install that. And it's doing that right away. We're going to hit next. Put in our password. And look at that. It's downloading Brave and installing it. Just like that. It's installing it. See how long that takes. We'll let that run real time. It shouldn't take too long. Done. So now if you go to the applications here, you should have Brave Browser installed right there. And why didn't it launch? Well, that's interesting. Oh, it looks like it's still working on launching it. Well, while that's working, you can install Chrome, you can install Edge, Opera, or Vivaldi as well. And then experiments. Fink Sync Kernel used in Nobara. Uh, replace the stock kernel with this custom one. May break your system. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So that's weird that Firefox did not open. I wonder if you have to restart it in order for it to do that. It's trying to open right now, and it's not opening. Hmm, that might be a little bit of a bug. For quick setup, audio consumption, uh, audio production, for gaming, set up Rizzy OS for PC gaming. Let's see what that does. Requires true, the admin, yes, reboot, false, one time, independencies. Uh, okay, let's see what it does. Oh, it's going to install Steam, Mini Galaxy. Oh my gosh. You can install uh, Epic Games Launcher, the game, Lutris Game Manager, uh, Gnome Games. You can install Prism Launcher, Discord. Oh my goodness, check all that out, man. Right off the bat, you can install emulators too, RetroArch and DOSBox. Wow, that's cool. So we're not going to do that. We're going to hit cancel. Uh, graphical design and photography. Let's see what that does. This is probably where you can install Krita, Inkscape, Darktable, yeah. Or GIMP, yep, they're already there, so no need to worry. Uh, productivity, this is probably where you can install your Office stuff. Oh, Zoom or, or Microsoft Teams. And your email client can be Geary, Evolution, Th wow, in interesting. Um, let's see, for video production, this one's cool. This one should be something I could get into. It's probably your Caden Live OBS. Uh, install OBS, yep. Uh, Audacity and GIMP, but oh, and Caden Live is your video editor. Or you can do open shot, shortcut, Pavidi, or none. Wow, no, we're going to go with Caden Live. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit continue. We're going to put in our password, and it's going to install all this good stuff. Wow. And now it's doing Caden Live. Now, I will tell you that I left Fedora because I had issues with Caden Live. I left Fedora and went to... Arco Linux B i3 edition uh, because I had issues with Caden Live on my Fedora. I was using Fedora 36. I upgraded to 37, and uh, it worked, but it was still kind of buggy. So it's going to be interesting to see how this installs and see if it installs well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and when it's done with that, then I'll relaunch it again. Okay, now that installed took a little bit, but um, during the course of the time that it was off, I went to the dnf.comp file and I edited it to allow parallel downloads or multi-downloads. I said it, I think it was set to three for only being able to download three things at a time, and I set it to zero, which allows it to do multiple different ones, as many as you want. So there was that. So now let's test it. Let's go to... 
audio production. We're going to click that launch and we're going to click next. Uh, Ardor and Audacity. And look at that. You got Tux Guitar. You got Yoshimi Synthesizer. Guitar X Amp. I mean, you got all this stuff. We're going to click next to install. See how this works if my changes helped at all for the download process. Taking a minute, it's checking, it's updating its thing, nothing to do. Ooh, that is moving a lot faster. Yes, that is going a lot faster. Yes, that did help out a lot. Look at that, that is going a whole lot faster. It's kind of like the same thing in Arch when you go and you, yeah, that was a lot faster. It's kind of like the same thing in Arch when you go and you uh, edit the uh, Pac-Man comp or the, or the, or the PAMAC comp and allow parallel downloads to 20 or something like that. So anyhow, so those are some scripts to install stuff. Um, you could also join the community here. These are for, for going to the different forums or Twitter accounts. And here you can contribute so you can go to the Rizzy store, which I wonder what they have. Let's take a look what their store looks like. Well, that's not opening and I clicked launch. Uh, wallpapers, you can do this to don't, well, none of that's working. Contribute code. Imagine you probably gotta go to their website to do that. So anyhow, so there's that, there's the Rizzy welcome. It has Chromium installed free world, which is the ungoogled version of it. Then you have the file manager, which is the GNOME files. Then you have the calendar. Then you have photos. And then you have video uh, player, which I believe is a standard run-of-the-mill GNOME video player, which is their totem is what, what it used to be. It's now called videos. So, yes, it's got that installed right off the bat. And it's got the GNOME software center installed. Now... You've got drawing, you got contacts, weather, clocks, Google Maps, apparently. Only Office is their um, Office suite that they've got installed. Now, I do know that that's also a partner of the uh, distribution. It said so It said so on their webpage. Uh, you got Rizzy Tweaks, which we open up that, and that's their appearance stuff that's cool that we already looked at earlier. Um, so you can get to it from there. Rizzy Welcome, which is we just got done doing with. They got calculator, the text editor, document scanner for settings is your typical standard GNOME settings, which is wild for appearance. We'll do dark. Our theme unable to set the theme, so it's blocked by the Rizzy theme. Uh, whatever. Either way, so there's that. It's got your standard typical settings. And then um, we go to System Monitor Web Apps. This is their web apps that they have already installed, which is kind of cool. It's basically like some people would use Natifier. You know, it's the same type of thing. It turns basically like a Google web page, like your, your Gmail web page. It'll turn it into an actual app for your desktop or your YouTube web page into an app for your desktop. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool, dang it. It's a pretty cool little app that's, that simplifies a lot of things. It's got a good use to it. It's got your terminal for utilities. You have connections, your disk usage analyzer, genome disks, the archive or doc viewer, image viewer, font uh, um, manager, that kind of stuff. Then you have celluloid as a video player, uh, which is kind of like MPB. Uh, help then of course you got the brave browser you got the cgn s calculator cgns nodes cgns plot cgns sunnet come come and cgns viewer then you have audacity uh, gimp caden live obs uh, gvim and ardor those are all ones that i installed using their app uh, let's open up caden live see what it looks like how it works ah see this is stuff that i was telling you that it, it misses in um fedora because fedora is FOSS, and so to the mlt you have to install these things the media info and all that good stuff in order for it to work 100 percent. but you don't have to you can just hit okay 
I believe it continues loading and it works. But it, it's missing some of its dependencies, which for me in my end, what it was kind of buggy. Also, the theming is spotty in it as well. It doesn't theme it thoroughly. So uh, I, that's why I left, one of the reasons why I left the door. But that could be fixed, you know, through GTK theming and all that good stuff. But either way, th that is a look at Rizzy OS, uh, which, like I said, it's, it's a distribution that comes from right here in Seattle, right in my own backyard. It is a nice Fedora-based distribution. Uh, respin whatever you want to call it remix uh i do like the install scripts that it has already installed for enabling the third party stuff and actually downloading stuff uh the, the like i said the whole caden live thing with the missing dependencies that's not something that's that's a make or break i mean you could still use it but like i said for me it just i, I didn't want it and, and it was time for me to change anyhow but i could have used it uh other than that this is actually a pretty nice little spin uh any Thing. If you're using Rizzy OS or you, or you know of anything that I forgot to mention about it, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, you guys keep doing what you do and keep on Linuxing and stay blessed. Take care of yourselves. All right? Have a great day.